Welcome back, everybody, to NGS Headline. Hello, everyone. It's 9 p.m. So let's get started with NGS Headline. I'm the host of this show, Hiro Arai, the official NGS navigator. Here to bring you the latest info on NGS. The PSO2 11th anniversary event is currently underway. And Nazun's Big Quiz Part 2 starts tomorrow, July 26th. Following Part 1, which appeared in the first half of the event, it features even more unique quizzes, so please look forward to them. And while you have all been enjoying the creative space, Alliance spaces are slated to be implemented in August. More on that later, so stay tuned. Once again, this program is to inform players about the present and future of Sega's online RPG, PSO2 New Genesis, or NGS for short, with info on current operations, future updates, campaigns, and more. This is a pre-recorded broadcast. If you would like to watch it in Japanese, you can check it out on the Japanese NGS YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's move on to the updates you've all been waiting for. NGS Hot Information First off, I'd like to share some info on the August updates. Let's start with a video. Manon! Aina! And you, too. I'm so glad we finally found you. So, uh, what's with the outfit? Crawford gave it to me. Thank you all for coming. Today I'd like to discuss our surveys of Halfa's various regions. Would it be alright if we helped out with her research too? Unfortunately, I'll need you two to focus on your own duties. What?
What did you think? Let me walk you through the update with some slides. Let's start with this. Although not featured in the video, Remix Line July 2023 and Rewind Collection July 2023 will be coming July 26th. The Remix Line July 2023 will offer variations of outfits previously released in NGS, as well as shoes from the outfits made into accessories. In addition to the Rappi's emote and avatar items, the scratch count bonus will also net you the C Halfinale S capsule, which sets the effects of the powerful augment capsule C Halfinale to your equipment with a single effect, so be sure to check it out. Next up, Rewind Collection July 2023 is a selection of scratch ticket items with NGS specs that came out from June to July of last year. The Motion Change Glide Umbrella and other items will be re-released as a scratch count bonus. If you have already registered this Motion Change, you can exchange it for a consumable at the item recycle. Add it to your favorite fit to enjoy character creation. Chapter 6, Part 2 of the main story will be available on August 2nd. In a meeting of region leaders, Crawford announces Manon's return. Aina is happy to be able to fight with Manon again, but what kind of future awaits our three main characters? Mini episodes will be coming along with the main story. Watch them all to see how each character reacts to what they learned from the battle on Lucille. Lucille Exploration New large scale standing content can be played by up to eight players and is set on the floating island of Lucille that you visited in the main story. In this quest, there are special ability buffs to give you an edge. The objective is to acquire as many ability buffs as possible within the time limit, so get buffed up and defeat the boss enemy that awaits at the deepest level. Boss enemies are also strengthened with various abilities, so it is important to acquire these ability buffs to have an advantage in battle. Ability buffs can be obtained by completing the conditions set for each room. You can see available ability buffs on the radar map, so keep an eye out and collect them. This quest is a random map, and the key to success is mutual coordination and cooperation among friends. The difficulty level is slightly higher than regular quests, but even if you fail to defeat the boss enemy at the deepest level within the time limit, you will be rewarded according to the damage you inflict, so do not give up and challenge through to the end. The bosses Ruino Ragne and Ruino Hyuno await you at the deepest level. Both bosses are the new Ruinos enemy type and have distinctive visuals that may look familiar to ARCs who have played PSO2. They unleash powerful attacks, so stay on guard. In addition, we have a new series of 9-star rarity weapons for you, the Vershmels series. Although their base performance is slightly lower than the Tisa series of 9-star weapons already available, the Vershmels series is easier to obtain and the potential is an effect that always generates a critical attack. We encourage you to explore the best combinations of preset skills and augments. In addition, the 8-star rarity unit Octo Armor also makes its debut. Plus, a new item, Growth Mint, will be dropped for Lucille Exploration. These can be exchanged for the 9-star rarity Vershmeld's weapons and the 8-star rarity Octo Armor unit I just introduced. You can trade for these at the Growth Mint Exchange at Item Traders. Gather some Growth Mint to get great gear. In addition to being a Lucille Exploration drop, 
You can also get your hands on a growth mint through daily task rewards. Daily tasks and title tasks will be added along with a new quest. You can obtain the weapon camo Verse Melts Almadi by completing the quest or defeating the boss at the deepest level, so be sure to give it a try. Alliance Spaces, a new type of creative space for use by alliances, are arriving soon. These are available as separate spaces from the player's own personal creative space. They will be available for alliances with four or more members, so you must gather your alliance members before venturing forth. Alliance spaces are fun places for communication. An alliance bulletin board can also be set up as a handy way for alliance members to communicate with each other. We'll also be adding a retum theme. Changing the theme will change the appearance of the island from the previous alio look to a retum motif. What's more, we're adding lots of build parts to help you recreate the atmosphere of the retum region. Purchase these with Genesis points and make a new atmosphere for your creative space. In addition, build parts ported over from PSO2 furnishings will be added to the lineup available for purchase with SG. One of these, the conveyor belt, is a unique element that allows players to move along the floor, so be sure to try it out. We've got arts records for field races too. This time, we'll be running it for Hafia Lake Board Stage 1 Solo. You can participate just by challenging this course during the event period. Let's see if you can break the record. We've added weapon camo as drop items in some trainia. Popular weapon camo based on weapons from PSO and PSO2 will be added as drop items to certain trainia, including the Geometric Labyrinth, Trainia Advance, and Battle Dia Purple. Weapon camo drops are different for each trainia, so even if you have already completed these trainia, we encourage you to try them again. Preset skills can now be enhanced. In the same way that weapons can be made into multi-weapons, multiple copies of the same unit can be combined to increase the level of preset skills for the items on which they are based. Although not shown in the video, a new reward item, the SG Legacy Coordination Badge will soon be available. This badge can be redeemed for the item of your choice from the selection of past SG Scratch tickets. There are two types of badges, the Hair Badge, which can be exchanged for a hairstyle, and the Pose Badge, which can be exchanged for an emote or a motion change. One way to earn these badges is as part of campaign rewards. You will be able to change the status backdrop via Vital Gauge Design under Personal in the main menu. You can get more backdrop variations by using tickets, but some backdrops are available without tickets. Next, we will also be adding the ability to display damage per second under the Options settings. You will be able to display the DPS of your attacks. Check out just how much damage your favorite weapons can do. Moving on, support NPCs will be coming to your aid in Battle Dia Yellow. They will appear in Battle Dia Yellow in Aelio, Retum, and Kvaris. This will make these fights easier for solo players, so be sure to take advantage of this when leveling up your character. We've also heard your requests and will be making it possible to teleport from the world map to cocoons and towers. We hope this will be useful when you're out exploring the fields. In addition, if there are any limited time quests that have not been completed, an icon will appear on the NPC standing behind the quest counter. This should make it easier to notice when there are new limited time quests. Next, a quest counter section will be added to the tasks quest section of the main menu. 
This will make it easier to check and take on quests. Moreover, a title section will also be added under the Tasks Quests section of the main menu. Please use it when you want to confirm titles while doing other tasks. Please note that the title section in the Personal section of the main menu will be removed accordingly. We will add some options to the ornament display settings under Customized Looks in the Salon, namely the ability to edit faces, hairstyles, and head parts under Edit Head, which was another highly requested feature. It was previously announced that this feature would be limited to the NGS blocks, but we have decided to add it to the PSO2 blocks as well. Please take advantage of this when you use the Salon. Next, we added an option to show or hide values related to body shape under the Salon Settings section of Edit Miscellaneous. Please use this when sharing details. Please note that the accessory and cell shading values are always displayed regardless of the option settings. New backdrops will be coming to Arcs IDs. Some can be obtained by earning title points, so be sure to collect and put them to use. We'll also be adding an option to the PC version to display other players at high resolution. This will make it possible to display other players in the same resolution as yourself. This may affect game performance depending on your PC specs. So please be careful when using these settings. Try using it when you take screenshots. We'll also be adding the option to change the height of portable holograms. You will be able to fine-tune the heights via the list under Place Portable Hologram, so you can change the settings to your liking and decorate the field more freely. In addition, when a member application is sent via search for currently recruiting alliances, the applicant will be added to the alliance applicant list. This will make it easier to recruit and enroll members, so check it out! Next on the list, when you participate in ARC's records content, you'll get an attack power buff when you use a weapon that can be equipped by your main class. So be sure to use your main class's weapons to get the top score. Now I'd like to introduce a new AC Scratch ticket, Designer Dreams August 2023. This is the fourth round from the PSO2 10th Anniversary Item Design Contest. The lineup includes beautiful clothing and unique accessories. Check out the Scratch Count bonus for an alternative version of the Motion Change Motion Dash Penguin. The original being available as a Scratch Ticket prize. Beginning August 9th, ARCs will be able to take on the Standing Quest, Sign of the Planet Breaker, a major target suppression mission. This will be an incredibly high difficulty quest where you will face the new Dark Falls class, Starless Enemy, Dark Falls Solus. Up to four ARCs can fight together at once, and the mission will be considered a failure if participants are incapacitated five times or if the battle goes over the time limit, it is not easy to defeat Dark Falls Solus as its attacks are extremely fierce and its attack power extremely high, even when compared to the powerful Dark Falls we faced before. So be sure to have all your equipment ready and be fully prepared to take on this quest as many times as you need to defeat it. This quest can be taken on multiple times via the dimensional fault that appears in the southwestern part of central Retum. We'll also be holding Ark's records for Trinitas. This time, it will be for all classes in Geometric Labyrinth Rank 2 Solo, and you can participate by taking it on during the event. 
Now, while this wasn't in the video, we've got a sparkling brand new event scratch ticket, Treasure Scratch. The items in this scratch ticket are mainly augment capsules and enhancement materials, but the scratch count bonus will include the SG Legacy Coordination Badge Pose, introduced earlier and other luxury items. These tickets can be earned through urgent quest rewards and limited time daily tasks. Be sure to snag every single one of these gorgeous prizes. In Mission Pass NGS Season 23, you'll find new accessories such as the Minstaphone, which is based on a unit released in PSO2, the Flight Stick, which is based on a controller, and even an alternative effect color version of the Motion Change Motion Glide Charged. Please note that from NGS Season 23 onwards, you will no longer choose rewards from tiers. Instead, you will be able to get all items. So go through all the tiers to claim your rightful rewards. Before the start of the Uncle from Another World collab on August 9th, we're releasing a celebratory illustration. Uncle from Another World is a series based on a comic book by Hotondo Shindeiru. The original comic has sold more than 3.3 million copies including digital and is extremely popular. The illustration shows Uncle, Elf and Mabel whose avatar items will be featured in this collaboration, along with characters based on the NGS protagonists. The character Uncle is a Sega maniac from the old days. His expression of happiness at collaborating with a Sega game is very heartwarming. In this Uncle from Another World collab, not only will there be a scratch ticket where you can get collab items, there will also be a limited time login bonus and campaign coming as part of the collab. The Uncle from Another World collab campaign includes a login bonus in which you can earn building parts based on the Uncle from Another World series and mag evolution devices based on Sega gaming consoles. At the same time, we will also be holding a beginner's boost campaign for Battle Dia Yellow. Be sure to check it out too! Now, we would like to introduce the new AC Scratch Ticket, Uncle from Another World style. The lineup includes avatar items to turn your character into Uncle, Elf or Mabel, Weapon Camo and many more collab items. Nostalgic Sega hardware designs such as Genesis and Sega Saturn will also be featured in this collaboration. So be sure to look out for them as well. Although not shown in the video, we will be releasing two types of AC Scratch tickets from August 16th. For the AC Support items select August 2023, some useful items for progressing in the game such as XD-type augments and items to support weapon enhancement are coming back. The lineup will be the same as the AC Support items select June 2023 released in June. Rewind Collection August 2023 is a selection of NGS spec AC scratch ticket prizes released from August to September last year. As for the scratch count bonus, the Motion Change Dash, Marlin Rider EX, and more are coming back. Those who have already registered this motion change can exchange it for consumables at item recycle. So enjoy character creation with a wide variety of items. We're also holding ARCs records for field races. This time, it will be for the Mideola Outer Area 2 Board Stage 1 Solo Course and you can participate simply by playing the course during the event period. That's all for the updates for the first half of August. Let's move on to the updates for the second half of the month, starting with this video.
Now I'll give you an overview with some slides of the updates for the second half of the month. Take on the limited time quest, Blazing Battle, set on Kanai Isle in the Elio region. Up to four people can accept this quest, and the objective is to destroy all enemies that appear across multiple waves within the time limit. You can increase the time limit by either defeating a certain number of target enemies or enemies with a special marker. The enemies will appear at various locations around the island, so use sky lifters and other field mechanics for maximum efficiency. Also, we're holding ARC's records for limited time quests for the first time. To be eligible, two or more players will need to participate in the limited time quest, Blazing Battle, which will be open to parties and all classes. To get the best score, make good use of the field mechanics and keep track of enemy locations. Now it's time to show off our latest AC scratch ticket. Stylish Summer. It will include a sailor-style dress and a variety of similar denim-style outfits. The scratch count bonus includes an alternate version of the motion change Dash Lovely included in the scratch ticket prizes, so be sure to check that out as well. You'll also be able to play the new 24-player limited time quest, A Ruins Interception. In this quest, you'll face the Megalodix versions of Crocodilus Vera and Ams Vera in the Belugana Ruins. The boss enemies will be backed up by other enemies during combat, so split up to take them on while watching out for the boss enemies' super powerful attacks. We're also holding ARC's records for field races. This time, it will be for the South Kavaris Dash Stage 1 solo course, and you can participate simply by playing the course during the event period. Lastly, although not shown in the video, we will be releasing the Revival AC Scratch Ticket Emote Collection August 2023 on August 30th. This scratch ticket is exclusively PSO2 spec emotes released in the past. If you have emotes that you have not yet been able to grab, now's your chance to snap these up. That's all for the update info I have for today. Let's move on to the next segment. NGS Operation Report for this segment, the NGS Operation Report, I, Hero Arai, select questions and comments from players to bring to the development and live operations teams and bring you their answers. Here's the first one. Please increase how many favorites I can have so I can save more emotes. Here is our team's response. In response to this request, we plan to expand the Emote Favorite Save Slot limit to 100 in an October update. We appreciate your patience in the meantime. That was their answer. It can be hard to find emotes from a long list, so this is great news. Let's move on to the next question. Do you have any plans to change the Augment Capsule lineup in the shops? Here's what they had to say. We plan to add Gigas 4 Series and Dreadkeeper 4 in an October update. We'll be adjusting the lineup with other Augments as well. That was their response. Let's keep going. I heard that the super high difficulty standing party quest coming in August will be difficult to complete on the first try. Could you share more on how you've adjusted the difficulty? Here is their message. In these quests, you will be fighting against Dark Falls Solus, whom we shared details about in today's broadcast. 
We adjusted the difficulty to be a little harder than the currently available rank 2 of drill Dark Falls Interception R2. Also, since some special attacks can pierce through your guard and can't be dodged, you will need to evade them by photon dashing and jumping. You can take it on any time if you fulfill the battle power requirement, so we hope you'll enjoy taking on the challenge multiple times till you can triumph. That was what they had to say. The next question is about the creative space. I want to create a wider variety of structures, so could you implement new build parts? Here is their answer. We will be adding build parts including building materials and natural objects about once every two months going forward. In addition to new build parts, we will also be porting furnishings from PSO2, so please look forward to that as well. That was their response. It's good to hear that porting PSO2 furnishings is on their to-do list. This will give us more creative freedom. Let's see the next question. Can I use the designs that I create in my creative space in my alliance space? Here is their response. In the alliance space, you can use designs you already own. However, please note that you cannot publish your designs by placing a design terminal in the alliance space. That was their answer. Now for the final question. Can we have simple methods to communicate with others in the creative space such as sending likes, etc.? Here is what they said about this. In response to this request, we are considering adding a feature in a future update that will allow players to easily send each other kudos when players visit their creative space. Though it will take some time, please look forward to our update on this. That was their response. You can create a wide variety of structures in the creative space, and the content will be even more fun with a handy method to communicate with the owner of the space, even if only indirectly. That's all for our Q&A today. Moving forward, I will continue to select and bring your questions and feedback to the development and operations teams and share their answers with you. Please also let us know your thoughts about this show and the game with the hashtag NGSHeadline on Twitter and other platforms. Moving on to the next segment. NGS Satellite Information now let's move on from updates and talk about some other NGS-related info. I'm sure it will get you even more excited about the game. Let's get started. Here are the details of the Team Up campaign and AC Purchase campaign that launch on August 2nd. We are holding a Team Up campaign to celebrate the release of the Alliance Space. In this team-up campaign, you can receive an accessory called Rappy Speech Bubble by logging in to the game during the campaign period while belonging to an alliance with four or more members. In the AC Purchase campaign, you can get items such as the accessory Assorted Chocolates, the SG Legacy Coordination Badge Hair that I mentioned earlier, and even more according to how much AC you purchase during the period. Don't miss out on this great deal! An original video commemorating the collab with Uncle from Another World will be released soon. In the live video, Uncle, a Sega maniac, is enjoying NGS to the fullest. You'll also get to see his unique gameplay style, so please look forward to it. The video will soon be available on the PSO2 Global YouTube channel. We are proud to announce an NGS collab with the smash hit anime TV series, Oshi no Ko. 
In addition to avatar items for I, Ruby, and Aqua, we'll have collab items like emotes, build parts, stamps, and portable holograms. This featured collab is scheduled to be released in September 2023. Check out the next headline for more details. The following is a quick introduction to Oshinoko. Goro is a gynecologist working in a suburban city. One day, I, his favorite idol from the idol group B. Komachi, appears at his clinic. She has a forbidden secret. This ill-fated meeting sets their destinies in motion. And that's where the story really gets underway. The anime is based on a popular comic serialized in Weekly Young Jump magazine. This stunning work by the dream tag team of Aka Akasaka and Mengo Yokoyari shows the entertainment industry from a whole new angle. Please look forward to these collabs with the latest anime programs that were just broadcast this spring. That's all for this episode of NGS Headline. In this program, we are looking for your opinions to help us improve NGS. We encourage you to tweet not only about the game, but also about your impressions of the program and any messages of support for the development and live ops teams, etc., if you have them. To make sure we see them, please add hashtag NGS Headline to your tweets. As a representative of the users, I will continue to work with the development team to make NGS a more enjoyable game for everyone, and I look forward to your continued support. The next episode of NGS Headline will be on Tuesday, September 5th. We will be focusing mainly on the September updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now then, ARCs, I'll see you at the next NGS headline. Thanks for watching here on Tuesday night. I'll see you on next NGS headline. Bye-bye.